hi and welcome to my channel so we're going to be talking about numbers and data today and we're going to be answering the question how many vacancies does the uk have and indeed is the uk still recruiting overseas workers does the uk need overseas workers carers nurses anybody for that matter so it is important like i've said to look at data so if you're new to my channel you're welcome and in today's video we're going to look at the data how many vacancies does the uk have and which are the sectors that recruit the most but most importantly how many vacancies specifically do they have in those sectors the reason why this information is important is because if i was looking for a job currently in the uk or anywhere for that matter i'm somebody that I like data i'll be looking at the number of vacancies because the more vacancies there are in a particular sector the higher the chances that you're going to succeed getting a job within that sector and so it is not helpful when somebody's like hey melvis this is my background you know i've got experience in this i've studied this i've done that the truth is that no one cares it's about the need of the country where you want to go it's about the need within the country where you are so if you're watching this whether you're already in the uk or you're still out of this country it's very important to get the the data the details and the statistics so if you haven't joined this family obviously take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when i drop a new video on here one of the things that i do is that i'm very obsessed with data i'm obsessed with information i'm obsessed with looking at numbers to see what's going on here what are the trends like are they going up are they coming down and all of that but before i get started According to the Office for National Statistics, right now, the UK has almost 2 million vacancies when it comes to all the jobs. So the current vacancies that they have in all the different sectors, 2 million vacancies. And by the way, if you're not aware, I do have a free newsletter. I've dropped the link in the comment section below where I send information about free visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK directly to your inbox, career progression opportunities in the UK. You know, you want to progress to work for the NHS, get into healthcare, clinical, non-clinical jobs, you know, get to the NHS, like I've said, get apprenticeships so that you can earn money and you're being paid without paying any tuition fees so you can progress in your career. I'm passionate about career progression. So check the comment section below and join. It won't take you 20 seconds. You simply drop your name and email and you're part of it. You're also going to find my contact details under, so there's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address so that if you want that one-to-one -one individualized tailored and personalized guidance that you can get in contact with me directly to discuss about your case and your specific circumstances because it's all good and fine to talk about all this data on youtube put all this information but look if you don't know where to start as a person if you don't know how to see out from that noise of information to choose what is specific for your circumstances it can be very challenging in fact all the information can very easily lead to overwhelm and i do empathize with everybody that relies on youtube for information because there's a lot going on all the times a lot of noise and i mean you need to be able to see about that information and pick what is best for you and so that is what this channel is about really that is what this is about so again like i said check the comment section below and join that newsletter or contact me if you need tailored information about your specific circumstances it doesn't matter whether you're already in the uk or you're still out of this country it really doesn't matter so two million vacancies in all sectors across the uk that is what the office for national statistics says but let's get specifically within healthcare looking at the highest number of vacancies that exist healthcare as an industry has the highest number of vacancies in the uk with almost a quarter of these vacancies within healthcare and that's why you see that if you want to get visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK, for example, or you're an international student in the UK and you're looking to switch your visa to any sector, or you're an immigrant in the UK and you're looking to progress in your career, if you choose healthcare, that's why you have the highest chances of success if you get into healthcare. That's because if healthcare has almost a quarter of all the vacancies in the UK, it means that you're more likely to have visa sponsorship within healthcare, but also you're far more likely to progress within healthcare that's what it means this doesn't mean that people don't get jobs in other sectors they do but obviously they have very very few vacancies which means out of thousands and thousands of people only one or two people will get jobs in other sectors that are not healthcare this is a reality on the ground and this is because of the need and that's why i always say that if you're somebody who is wise and somebody who is smart you need to look at the data 
And that, again, is why it, when somebody joins my coaching program, for example, if you're not aware, by the way, I do have a private career coaching program. I've dropped a link in the description box below or the about section of this channel. If you're somebody that is keen and you want to check that out, I mean, you're welcome to do so. So that if you need that one-to-one -one guidance, that's fine. I've also dropped in loads of free resources to support you, to give you that guidance, to give you more tailored information about different opportunities that there are in the UK. So check the description box or the about section and you'll find all of that information on there. So if you're somebody who, when you join my program, I say to you, because many people like to focus on this is my background, this is who I am, you know, I need a job within my sector, I've got experience here, I need to stay within this sector. I'm like, look, it doesn't work because there are many of these sectors that they don't even offer sponsorship at all i mean many people don't realize that when it comes to visa sponsorship there are some sectors that i'm not saying that it's difficult to get sponsorship i'm saying it is not possible at all because they don't offer any visa sponsorship within those sectors and i think this is what is challenging when some people are choosing to study in the UK, they choose courses because in my undergrad is what I did. So for my postgrad, I need to do this because I did this for my master's, for my PhD, I need to do this because I studied this in high school. So for my university, I need to do this. Look, in the UK, it does not work. You need to look at the job market. Very, very important. The job market should dictate what you're going for. Because it's not about, oh, I'm passionate about this. Oh, this is not for me. Oh, this is this. I'm saying that it does not work. You know, I would love for all of us to be in the ideal sector that we want, to continue within the same sector that we've studied in, to follow our passion. Look, this whole advice that you need to follow your passion does not work. It's bad advice. Yes, if you're following your passion towards something that the world does not need or that is not going to help you, I mean, you won't even have the opportunity to experience and to get to express your love for that passion. You know, I know that is really tough, but look, many people need all this tough love for them to move on. Because there are many people right now that are stuck with saying, oh, I'm doing an MBA because I did, you know, whatever it was in. Look, nobody cares. You need to look at the job market and choose accordingly. And by the way, what is your situation at the moment? What have you found? Are you thinking of studying, getting into, you know, work, looking at the UK job market? What are you considering? What is your experience? You don't need to only apply for things that you've got experience in. Many of these opportunities are entry level and anybody can get into. That's what I'm trying to say here. So if you're wise and you're smart, that's how you should be thinking. So again, do share this, by the way, with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, because there are people that are currently exploring opportunities. They are looking at what to do and such information would be incredibly helpful for them to consider. Also hit the like button, by the way, if you're enjoying this content and you like to see more content like this on this channel so that I know that it's a lot of tough love, but I mean, many of us need that tough love because on YouTube land, everything is rosy. Everything looks simple or oh, get a high paying job, move to the UK in two days, switch your visa in one day. In real life, it does not work. That's a reality because you need to gravitate towards the opportunities that are available. I've seen people who've graduated with top grades, first class degree, you know, they are even capable of getting a job within the sector that they have studied for, but they don't offer sponsorship. I mean, if it, if it doesn't offer sponsorship, how are you going to do that job if you, you can be the best student? And I know it can be very frustrating, but this is the reality of the country. So next things. When it comes to healthcare, carers, for example, how many vacancies are there? Currently, according to the Skills for Care, which is the organization that is specialized with data from the healthcare sector, they say that at the moment, the UK has about 178,000 vacancies for carers alone in the UK. And this is also alongside data that already says that 80,000 carers were recruited from overseas in the last 12 months. That was the last 12 months to June. So from June of 2023, you know, till now. So you can see that that is a massive number. And look, I can tell you that this year, more people are going to be recruited. I think the number is going to hit 100,000, you know, for 2024. But the reason for this is because of the massive need within this sector. And you may be thinking to yourself, if they need all these staff, why is it so difficult to get a job? Why is it challenging to get a job? And are the numbers going to, which means if they need 178,000 people, if they recruit 178,000, does it mean that the vacancies are now closing and they'll stop recruiting? No, they won't because that's not how it works. UK has a very high aging population. 
And this is mainly due to the fact that the healthcare in the UK is amazing. There's new technology, which means people are living a lot longer, which is why the retirement age is also very high. Because of all these things, the need for carers keeps increasing every single day. The need for carers is increasing massively because people are living longer. The longer people are living, the higher the need for carers. And that's why as you recruit more, more are needed. You recruit more, more are needed. And that's why it's like a vicious circle where it is just endless. There's also the thing about attrition. So as you're recruiting people, people don't stay in jobs forever. You know, people need to transition from, I don't know, primary care to secondary care, vice versa. People get into other sectors. People study to become nurses, obviously, as you know. An obvious path for carers is to get into nursing, whether it's also other non-clinical jobs, but there are lots of opportunities to pursue. And so this also means that there is a lot of mobility within the sector. And so people are not staying forever. Because of this, the numbers also keep going up, rightfully so. I mean, everybody needs to progress. I started as a carer myself in a care home, but right now I work in the most senior clinical nursing position. You can see that's that mobility. I've left from one job to another to another. And I'm not the only person doing it. this. Thousands of us are actually following this path because it is a natural pathway for anybody that's progressing within any career. And this creates more need for staff within those other positions. And that's why the need for carers keeps increasing year in, year out, despite the massive numbers that are being, being recruited. Also, you know, the fact that, like I said before, technology has improved dramatically when it comes to healthcare. It means that healthcare facilities are able to, people are able to live longer, you know, because the treatment options are there. People are better treated, you know, and all of that. So again, this increases life expectancy. And that's why when it comes to recruitment of carers, it's not going to be ending anytime soon because of the need. And that's why you see that there are all these other laws and immigration rules that are coming with carer jobs so that people can work more within that sector rather than being kind of scattered around within other um, industries as it is currently the case. So you need to look at data, like I've said, you know, healthcare alone has one quarter of all vacancies in the UK. Then all the other sectors have the other 75%. You know, looking at the NHS, for example, they currently have about 150,000 vacancies for the NHS alone. So again, this is massive. And when you look at the 150,000 vacancies, nurses make about 50,000 of those vacancies. So nurses, like it is crazy. So nurses make about... 35% of all vacancies within the NHS. And again, that's why the need for nurses is so high. And that's why literally every organization is desperate to have nurses to work with them. And that's why if you're a nurse, it's a lot easier to relocate and work in the UK, you know, than, you know, other jobs once you've obviously met the requirements. And that is also why the Nursing and Medical Council in the UK has introduced so many new pathways to work as a nurse in the UK, even if you don't have out to OET and you're trained overseas. So it's really for you as a candidate to explore those opportunities. I've shared detailed videos on here about some of these opportunities, carer jobs, you know, clinical, non-clinical healthcare jobs. How do you proceed? What do you need? And all of that. But like I said, if you need one-to-one -one tailored individualized and personalized guidance for your specific circumstances which is really what makes the massive difference then check out my coaching program you can find my contact details in the comment section below there's my whatsapp number as well as my email address you can contact me directly so that i can support you and like i always say i don't like to sit here to pretend that this is an easy process it is not easy but it is worth the effort in the end you know, it is a very challenging journey. It requires a lot of patience, a lot of determination. It requires a lot of stamina. You know, you're going to get unfortunate emails and you're going to feel like, oh my God, Melvis, is it worth it? But it is to keep going on, you know. And again, during our live session on Thursday, we're going to get into more detail about these opportunities to explore and see which one's best to pursue. What are the chances of succeeding? You know, which organizations are recruiting? What do they need on the CV, the interview preparation? and just the entire um, shebang and what is needed to really um, pursue these opportunities because ultimately that's what matters you know ultimately yes it's good to know about all these opportunities but how do you get a hold of one of these opportunities because at the end of the day you only need one job for you to achieve your dreams you don't need all these thousands of jobs how do you become 
the one person that's going to get one of these vacancies in order to start your UK journey. So again, check this out. I've linked it up just to give you more information about other opportunities in the UK. I'll see you in this video.